A historic church in Oxford was destroyed by fire over the weekend. This morning, we have a live interview with Elder Doug Paul with College Hill Presbyterian Church. We are so sorry about the loss of this church, and thank you for joining us this morning. We appreciate the opportunity to share. Well, how are you and the other members of the church doing right now? You know, it's it's a it's mixed emotions, right? Mm -hmm. This is a, a historic church um, with with some people that have uh, that have been born, if you will, in the church, and have almost not worshipped uh, anywhere else. So mm -hmm. we've got unique unique relationships there, um, and of course, we've obviously got new members. But when we look through that, we are uh, we're hurt as the building itself was not sacred, but as yeah. one member shared, it was very special. And so there's a lot of history. So there's a lot of uh, still, dis despite the devastation, there's a lot of hope and faith and, mm -hmm. and uh, a church is built on Christ. And that's what we're excited to, to keep us moving forward. Do you have any information on what might have caused the fire? At, at this point, it looks like it's electrical. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, we're grateful for the law enforcement and the fire firefighters and the firemen that are investigating that. And yeah. so I'm going to let them answer that. But my yeah. guess is at the end, we're probably going to find it's electrical. And the video that we have shown our viewers by a resident in the College Hill area is just crazy to see. I can't imagine what the firefighters had to go through that night. But, you know, other than this historic building, what other maybe irreplaceable contents were lost? Well, the, the, the good news about the, the strong members, we, we believe that the only thing that's irreplaceable are people and souls, right? Mm -hmm. So. Uh, but there is a lot of history and, and things that were lost there. Obviously, this was a church that was built uh, in, in finished construction in 1844. So a lot of the materials in there, the pews, the pulpit, mm. uh, are all original. So those are, are gone. But we did save, um, thanks to the firefighters and their quick thinking, we did save the pulpit Bible. Oh, wow. uh, and, and so that's really neat. It's, it's a little charred. Yeah, but we're also a nice little gift from God. It was closed, so there was mm -hmm. no water damage. It just a little smoky, and we're gonna clear that up and put it back where it belongs. And that's just part of the church's story now. But what is your plan moving forward? Well, we, as you can imagine, it's it's only been since Saturday night, so yeah. we were just making sure we were excited that the congregation got together and worshipped uh, within twelve hours oh, at ten thirty. Wow. On Sunday, we had uh, our, our church service and worship in the fellowship hall, and everybody was together to uh, to pray, uh, sing, and uh, hear the Word of God. So that mm -hmm. was neat, and I think we're going to be working on that, but uh, we're absolutely a church that's going to rebuild. Um, we've got the fortitude, and, and uh, we've got some really strong members, and I'm excited uh, to, to lock arms and, mm -hmm. and continue the history of our church together. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to hear that. Now, is that at the fellowship hall, is that where church will be held from now? Well, for the time being yes okay. that's where we're going to be and, and be working at that until until we figure out how to how to get a sanctuary back mm -hmm. is there anything that someone at home who maybe feel compelled to help able to do oh uh, yeah we're well we're grateful for the love and support that the community has been given us mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of outpouring um, a lot of people have just through Ole Miss and and other touch points uh have had had family or, or had their own personal experience here at this church. So a lot of people reaching out at this point, we'll accept prayer uh, and, and grateful for that. But if, the, if you do feel the compelled to give, uh, our website is chpcoxford.org and we are going to be putting up, you know, you can just give checks as you would to any other church, but we are going to be putting up a link uh, to help us in, in rebuilding the sanctuary. And we appreciate that, that assistance. Again, we are so sorry that this happened to the church building, but we are appreciative of your time. And I know that you probably have a lot going on right now, but we do appreciate that. Well, Grant, thank you for this time. And, uh, and again, to the community, thank you for, for the love and support of this church. Thank you.